Hi, I'm Quedan Hooded. Today, I'm talking about a sort of dwarf described in several Japanese folk tales. Wait, I think it is about the bug. You changed the subject? No, I didn't. You're going to find out what it is about after all, if you get to know the outline for the story. A tiny entity mentioned in folklore can be seen across the whole world. Elf, pixie, goblin, or something like that. You can name it. On that regard, there are many similar folk tales in Japan as well. Like Isunboshi or Hinata ni Stelareta Kinomi. But first of all, we should get into some footage allegedly called a real image of the wolf. Let's take a look. Buena loco, ¿qué onda? Ya está, mira. ¡Ay, culo, qué pingo es ese! ¿Qué, ura? ¿Ura no empezó a hinchar pingo? ¡Ah, mira, ura! No, ura, ¿qué es eso? ¡Ey, culo, qué es eso! No, pero no es culo. No, culo. Mira eso, perro, eso, eso. No, sí, es un perro. Un perro. No, ura, no le tengan miedo, no le tengan miedo, que no va a hacer nada. ¿Qué perro es? ¡Ah, no, no! No, chango, no es un perro que no le vi, mira, 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 chicos, apuntadita. ¿Qué es, chango? Vamos, chango. Ay, mira, mira, se va alejando más. Acércate, acércate, Facundo, acércate. No, no, vení, chango, no. Vamos, 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 vamos. This video may be shot by children. They seem to notice something unusual and try to keep it for evidence. The quality of this video looks horrible to say the least but still we can see the small duck figure moving around before children to creep them out maybe you won't discuss more on this but anyhow next recorded on the video in which a very short human-like figure swiftly passing by from behind the vehicle back to the neighbor's back. It looks naked and I think it might be hard to find appropriate outfit to match their size. In many Japanese folk stories, a dwarf appeared. Among them, I'm picking up the story Gunzamushi also known as Gonzo Mushi or Takalageta, except for a minor difference in details. Same story has widely known to people for hundreds of years, mainly in West Japan. Most of cases, this oral tradition is concentrated in Fukuoka and Okayama Prefecture. I'm going to show you the Fukuoka local version of it. Here is the story. Long ago, in a place far away, there lived a hearty, dedicated boy. One day, the expense on the medicine for his mother's illness got no one to be covered by his earnings. He borrowed some money from Uncle Gonzo. In a couple of days, he couldn't afford the medicine again. He asked the Gonzo for more. I'm not a big fan of those who doesn't show any prospect to pay that back, like you. I don't lend you a single penny anymore, he insisted and throw him out. The boy had no idea what to do without Uncle Zed. He stopped his groomy stroll near by the small shrine and prayed for the local deity to wish his luck. Please read me a way out, he prayed, and meanwhile sat pondering. His exhausted mind faded and got taken over by sleepiness. In his dream appeared an old man saying, One stumble on this guitar gives you a single cover. 
but in exchange for which you lose some of your height. You should be careful and give it to the boy. He got awake and spotted one two skater he was told in the dream in front of the coin box upstairs. I wonder if that is true, he said. Just in case, he put it on and delivered it to his stomach, which produced one carbon from Gator's backside. He was surprised. Thank you. It is exactly what he said, old man. Now, I can buy some medicine for my mom. After showing his appreciation many times, likely he returned to his home. By his mother's bedside, he showed her the magical device making a small fortune and making a very false. What happened there, the son explained, made her greatly move and show her deep appreciation in tears, facing to the local shrine direction. She said, the one is for the medicine and food, the other for your uncle. The boy went to his uncle and paid for the debt. The uncle really wanted to know where this money came from. He managed to talk the boy through the incident and said, you don't have to pay for the less if you allow me own the one to get it instead. He rushed into the boy's house and took it from the family. After he went back to his parents, shut every perimeter, spread a huge piece of sheet, put the wonder gator on, he starts to keep stumbling on it. Then, carbons got piling up like a mountain. Accordingly, the body of Uncle Gonzo got shrunk and shrunk, eventually down to the size of a tiny bug. As the boy wondered, how uncle was doing with the geta. He visited uncle's place and sneaked it in his property. There was seen only a stunning big heap of carbons and no presence of uncle at all. I wonder where he has gone. He thought and searched his uncle for a while. There looked something tiny crouching around at the corner of a room. Possibly, too many stumble might make him that small. He suspected and took a closer look to find out it is him. Now this small are you. These carbons and the geta get quite useless to you, Uncle Gonzo, he said and returned to his home carrying with the gator and the bunch of carbons. The money had his mother cured and kept the family happy throughout the course of life. By the way, do you know Gonzo Mushi? Allegedly, it is a payback until Gonzo finally transformed into. There has been told for decades and decades at local that the old man in the story was incarnation of the spirit of Hikosan, a sacred mountain in Fukuoka. If you are interested in anything about Hikosan, you'd better visit Hikosan Jingu, a Shinto shrine located in Soeda, Fukuoka, and look around. I think there must be a magnificent scenery. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. See you next time.